we're now going to demonstrate arterial line insertion. So prior to this point, you will have palpated bilaterally the patient's radial arteries and decided which side you're happier with. To start, we'll position the patient with their wrist extended as shown to give you easier access to the radial artery. We'll clean the site using a 2% chlorhexidine lollipop. And then cover the site with a sterile drape. The next step will be to anaesthetize the site with 1% lidocaine. Palpating the artery, insert the needle warning the patient there will be a sharp scratch and raise a bleb with about half a mil of 1% lidocaine. Following this, massage the site in order to disperse it around the tissues and give yourself easier access to the artery. Whilst the lidocaine is working, you can prepare your equipment. So here we have the line in itself with a guide wire inside of it. If you remove the guide wire, it will be ready for the procedure. We're now ready to insert the needle. Palpating the radial pulse, and similar to as you would in an arterial blood gas, but at a more shallow angle, introduce the needle until you see blood spurting out of the artery. Following this, thread the guide wire down the needle. It should pass easily into the artery. Applying pressure with gauze, remove the needle, leaving the guide wire in situ. And then thread the line over the guide wire, which can be tricky to do. The important thing at this stage is to ensure that there is plenty of guide wire visible from the end of the line. So you do not want to lose this in the patient. Following that, insert the line over the guide wire. Again, keeping hold of it and ensuring that it's not lost in the patient. Remove the guide wire and then connect to the transducer you set up earlier and apply, and apply a sterile dressing. <laughs>